Good afternoon, fellow nerds. How is everybody doing? This is the Dark Comic Nerd. And uh, I noticed that we just hadn't been doing as many videos lately, guys. So I said, hey, I got some time this afternoon. The new job is going well, guys. I just started going back into the workforce. It is fantastic, my new job. Basically, I am working at a bottling plant that bottles water. Uh, two gallon, three gallon, I think it was three or two gallon, uh, jugs, uh, pints, quarts, gallons, you name it. Um, and, uh, they do it for a little bottling plant similar to Poland Springs that's up here in Maine, but this is a smaller group. And, uh, the thing is, is that they are currently getting a lot more clientele that want to have water done like this and so in that regard they needed to hire more people and ta-da i'm one of them and a new co-worker i met today uh he's only been there two and a half weeks and there's only been one other guy that does bottling that's been there much longer than the both of us uh, everybody else is now a delivery driver so the thing is is that um it's a very fun job i spent most of the day uh wiping down the outside of bottles which you just take a five gallon bottle you run a little water over it, and then you stick it in this machine that blasts everything out of it and sanitizes it with water that I would probably get third-degree burns from. So it was fun, though, except for being a little back-breaking. And, of course, I'm waiting to see what's, what else might happen. It's been a really fun time. And with a new job comes, um, you know, new opportunities. And uh, one of the things we want to do for an opportunity is we want to go back, actually, to the opportunities we can do our videos again uh, i'm gonna balance it i'm gonna try to balance it between doing videos again uh doing my gardening which i did some gardening this afternoon and did some videos i'm gonna do some um uh dishes later on and then i gotta pack it in by around 10 o'clock tonight but i think i can manage everything so uh i get i work seven to three guys and uh it's pretty good because the business is only a couple minutes down the road so it works out really well and um, they're very laid back, and I love the guys I work with. So far, they are uh, they're a bunch of men's men. Uh, if you know, ride motorcycles on the weekend, um, you know, do a lot of yard work and a lot of uh, you know carpentry and do all this other stuff. You know, men's men kind of thing. Not to sound sexist, just uh, that's you know what you think of probably. You know, a lot of you know going out with. Uh, Going out with the the bikers on the weekend, and when you're not doing that, working on your Harley, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but good group of guys, and I'm very pleased to work with them, even though this is my first day, and I haven't made judgments about everybody. They are so laid back, and uh, these are an awesome group of guys, and I think it's going to go very well. And with the excitement of a new job, um, means that we can be excited about doing videos again. So we are going to change these videos, guys. Um, what you are definitely seeing in front of you are vintage toys, which are, the packaging is not in its best condition, but they're not bad. Uh, they're still in really good condition. Um, inside the box, that is. And from now on, we're going to call this segment, guys, when we do vintage toys, or we might do vintage something else. We're going to start calling it vintage time. Just like if you guys remember, we have, um... We have our Build It. We have our Nerd Showcase. So this is going to be vintage time because we might do more than just vintage toys. So we're going to start renaming the segment Vintage Time. And uh, we are going to do vintage toys. And I actually might pull out some vintage cards um, and show, you know, show, show some cards off. So some stuff that people might be interested in um, in the near future. Um, we might show off all kinds of stuff, guys. And I'm going to try to balance it out. I noticed that we did lose a subscriber, but we are still at 304. Thank you so much. Um, I don't blame whoever popped off. We've been very lax on the videos lately as I've been re-evaluating where my life is going and making some major changes. Uh, you guys know all about that, so I don't have to beat the dead horse. You guys know exactly what we're talking about. Um... And so we still got lots of stuff going on where Mr. West will be back tomorrow and we should be doing our uh, our anime review segment, which we're still finding a catchier name and we're going to find a nice name for Wes at some point other than just calling him Wes. Well, I, I like to call him Darth Wes, you know, like Darth Vader, but Darth Wes whenever I see him on um, Messenger. So um, thinking we'll find something that 
fits in really good. Um, but in the meantime, guys, we are definitely doing a vintage time. Excuse me, vintage time. Say the words. Um, video today, guys, and we are going to be looking at two very classic Digimon toys, guys. What makes these interesting is that if you notice down here, if I get my finger in there, right there. And then right there, it says limited edition. These were limited edition toys, guys. Um, what made them limited? Well, that's because the uh, any armor segments here on these toys were painted with a gold paint. So I found two of them that were the same kind of gold paint, same limited edition, different series. One is from uh, War Greymon there. It's from the original series. And... Um, Oh, gosh, what's his name? Okay, his, his name should be on there somewhere. Um, oh, gosh, all I, all I keep thinking of is is Drillo is in his name, but it's, it's I don't think it's Armor Drillomon, but it might be. Um, I'll have to look it up, guys, because it should be on the front. Uh, see, just, see how it says just Digivolving Digimon, guys? It's like those cheapskates. I couldn't even bother giving him a name. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, Digmon. Finally hit me, Digmon, if I remember correctly. So um, that's from the second one, the O2 series, which was the follow-up sequel series to the original, which is where War Greymon here came from. Um, so uh, Digmon here, guys, and we'll take a, we'll take an individual look now at these guys. You can uh, get a much closer look. Look at the metallic paint on these; they did a good job. And we're doing this in sixty frames per second, so it looks really nice. Um, Digmon here. Pardon me, guys. I had something stuck on my tongue that was very unpleasant. Um, so Digimon here is a armor Digimon. So it digivolves to Digi Egg of Knowledge. So he actually digivolves into an egg because they armor Digivolve in that. And the thing is, is that he would go from egg form to his Digivolve form. Though the way it really worked in the series was they had a um, Armadillomon which is why I think I got the name confused from that, which was Cody's partner, who was one of the main characters. Um, he actually would use this. That was his number one primary um, Digi evolution for a lot of the, the first, at least quite a few episodes, I think, um, was Digmon. And the Digi egg of knowledge was... Basically based on Izzy, if I'm not mistaken, which was a character from the first series, um, where Izzy was the really brainy kid and was the partner to Tentomon. So um, the uh, Crest of Knowledge, which you guys can look all this stuff up. I'm just giving you some background stuff. But if you really want to know details, look it up online. I'm going to highly recommend that. Um the crest of knowledge guys is what's on the digi egg. And I'm sure that if I looked around this, it would probably be there somewhere when he actually transforms into egg form, which well, actually I want to just make sure you guys can see this, see where the label here with this. Typically, this is the kind of label that was on toys that were found at EB games. So before GameStop, there was EB games. I'm almost positive. And look at the price, guys. Can you imagine getting a toy nowadays for under 10 bucks that looks like this? Just just incredible the way they the way things have gone. So um the, unfortunately, what they show you on the back here is Digimon Tamers. Because at the time that this toy came out, it was limited edition, as I said. It came out when they were doing Digimon Tamers which Digimon Tamers took a Digimon in a whole different direction as far as what you saw for the first two series. But um, going back to the Digi Eggs, I was hoping we could look at what maybe would be on the back here for the Digi Egg. Unfortunately, they do not show it. But uh, I'm going to just take a side shot, guys, right now. I got this, the window nice and open so you guys can see. There's the symbol for the Crest of Knowledge. Um, but the thing is, is that... Um, the digi egg is always a funky looking egg shape type thing. It then has a crest, usually having to do with one of the original digi Destin from the first series. It then uses similar power to what allowed the crest allowed the Digimon in the first series to digivolve to their ultimate forms, if I recall correctly. So it uses similar powers to allow these Digimon 
who are restricted from being able to Digimon because of a very because of an evil force going through the Digi world at the moment. Um, they cannot Digivolve through normal means. So what happens is, is they were armor Digivolve. And that's where you get the egg from. And, of course, the eggs were always very shiny. So they uh, thought it would be very nice to do this character, apparently, with a very shiny exoskeleton. Now, you can see that not all of it is shiny, just this top part, um, which I'm sure there's a couple of reasons for that. Now, the fact that we've got the window uh, shade drawn and we're getting some gorgeous sun in here just means that thing looks fantastic. Now, what we have here is also a Digimon card. Now, this was the cartoon-type card. It wasn't part of a card game or anything like that. It was just collectible. And it's got a very prismatic kind of foil to it. And I don't know if that was... I don't know if that was limited to this limited edition or if it was the one you would always get. My guess would be is this was a cash grab where they put the old figures out and gave them a new shiny coating and then just went back for a second bite of the apple, basically. But I was big into collecting my Digimon at the time, so there we go. Um, now, what I'd like to look at is, uh, if we can check on the bottom, as we always do, guys, look at that. Copyright 1997 through 2001. And then 2001 Fox Kids logo. That tells me everything I need to know, guys, about this thing being vintage, because this thing is over 20 years old. Now, looking at War Greymon, we're not looking at too much of a difference, guys. Except for this, he's going to digivolve to Augumon. So that is going to be his rookie form. And this is his mega form right here, which is, um, at the time of the series, was his ultimate form. Uh, they've come into new forms all over the place since then. But back during the day, this was his ultimate form, and he was extremely powerful. And the gold tint they put on him is just fantastic i love the way they did it guys they did a good job with this so we'll let you guys look at that from the side and i see a lot of people are digimon fans out there guys so i really appreciate all the digimon fans out there and the people that love checking this out because um it just tells me that there are still a lot of digimon fans out there and i'm so happy about that now once again the back does not show these because this was, like I said, I believe a cash grab using old figures where they just gave them a new paint job on a way on a way of getting out there and getting more money from kids. Because at the time, they were probably uh, doing Digimon Tamers and said, hey, we'll go get all these other fans or, or you know, the, even the regular Digimon fans like myself. You know, we'll get them to buy these and all we got to do is slap the word limited edition on them. And... I'm sure the $9.99 I paid for that is probably not too far off. If I anything, I might have paid less for this. So the thing is, guys, is I didn't mind at the time. I had a lot of money to blow back when I bought stuff like this. So it wasn't a big deal. But yes, yes, I did fall into it. Um, we're talking about, you know, War Greymon here is probably from the same time period. Oop, he's not going to be on the bottom. So we're going to be able to look at anything. We're going to be able to look down here, I think. Um, yeah, same thing, 2001, and then I bet if we go over here, yeah, 2001, so same time period, because I'm pretty sure these both came out together at the same time, and like I said, guys, they were probably just to get more money for Bendai at the time, but I had money to blow, so there you go, I got some, I got some nice figures out of the deal, are they worth anything, who knows, but are they nice to look at? Dang right they are. So there we go, guys. As you can tell, there's not much else to really look at because there's nothing else on the back. Uh, you've actually seen me with some of these figures. And if we haven't, trust me, I can look for them. I probably have them. <laughs> but yes, things are going well, guys, right now. And I definitely want to get back into the swing of things. So thank you so much, guys, for joining us on Vintage Time. Um, much like our Build It and our Nerd Showcase and our Nerd Play and all our other things, guys. Vintage Chime will join us um, for the a new, well, an ongoing segment that is new to the name, 
but not new to what we do here. And I hope you guys will continue to join us. And we'll keep coming back and doing stuff, guys. And we'll try to get back into the swing of things. Don't worry. We'll try to get back into the swing of doing things, guys. And bringing you guys the enjoyment that you want. Because that's what this channel is all about. Um, in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for being dedicated and uh, making sure that we're still over 300 subscribers strong. Thank you guys to anybody that's going to join up. Um, I don't beg for subscriptions here, but I do appreciate those who do subscribe because it shows me that there's some dedication to the uh, the nerd cause. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to get back into the swing of things here, hopefully, guys. Um we're going to do some more videos. I'm going to try to get some more vintage stuff out. I have some uh, manga reviews I want to do. I just picked up the first volume of In Another World with my smartphone. I find the anime very enjoyable, and the manga was not much different. It was very enjoyable. Um, and so I want to do that, and I have the first volume of Soul Eater, and I want to talk about that too. So we've got that. We've got more Nerd Showcase to do, though not as much as when I used to work at my other job in retail. So that's going to push back a little bit. We do have plenty of um, cards of various sorts, including Digimon cards. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um still kicking around and we have plenty of legos to build guys so we'll have plenty of videos going forward i just need to get into a rhythm again and find the time you guys would think that with all the time i had available when i was doing nothing for two weeks as far as work goes that i would have had more time to do videos well uh, we all go through life changes guys and trust me when the life changes call it's good to sit back and talk to the Lord and give thanks to the Lord for all the blessings you have and then figure out where the direction you want your life to go in, guys. And that's where I have come to my conclusion right now with friends, with family, with my job, with my finances, with everything, guys. And the thing is, is that now that we're on a pretty clear path, I'm just going to keep praising the Lord. If you're a praying type, pray for me. And hope that it keeps going forward and that in the meantime, I can bring you guys awesome videos like this, looking at all the fun things that we have around here. Because trust me, guys, the stuff I show you is just a drop in the bucket around here. In the meantime, I hope you guys are having an awesome evening. I hope you guys had a great Memorial Day. And we hope we'll catch you guys again, well, if everything goes well, tomorrow night. Peace out, everybody.